Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Apparently, there's some leaflet being distributed that's promoting something called Punish a Muslim Day on April 3rd of this year. Without further ado, let's have a look at this work of art. This leaflet looks like it's been designed on a really old version of Word. In fact, if you look, the use of red, italic, and I detect a bit of underline. It's only used at the start mate. That gives me the impression that they are probably using a trial version of this really archaic and ancient version of Word. Splash a little and invest some when you're doing some Islamophobia mate. Let's start the leaflet off. It says, They have hurt you. They have made your loved ones suffer. Solution? Hurt them back. This is not a playground childish response of he started it. Then it says, are you gonna take orders? That's very ironic because right at the bottom there's a long list of orders mate. Are you a sheep like the vast majority of the population? Oh maybe he's onto something here. Sheep follow orders and are easily led. Wow he's actually clarified it in case someone's genuinely confused and actually thinks they're being referred to as a farmyard animal. They are allowing the white majority nations of Europe. Brilliant! <laughs> he's clearly a white guy and he's secluding everybody else in this Islamophobia. It's only us, yeah? No blacks or no brown people allowed mate, yeah? Because apparently only whites feel pain of actual terrorism. Let's put aside the fact that majority of the terrorist casualties are actually Muslim people. He goes on to say there will be rewards based on the actions taken. Obviously none have been stated. It could just be a five pound book token, a sandwich with Tommy Robinson or just a healthy pat on the back. All right let's have a look at these actions right here. For 10 points, verbally abuse a Muslim. Or you, you're a maniac Muslim. Well that's not nice. Ha! I've solved terrorism and redeemed the honour of my people. Was there anything else you wanted to say? Nah mate, I've got my 10 points. 10 points, what like is there a reward system or what's the reward? I don't know, I got a letter through the post and they said I was going to get rewards but I don't know what it is yet. Fingers crossed mate. Number 2. Pull the headscarf off a Muslim woman. Now the word woman is in inverted commas. This reminds me of a classic episode of Friends where Joey is learning what inverted commas actually do and he's just getting it wrong. I know I should have. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not using it right, Joe. <laughs> I'd love to see how this would actually pan out. Oi, you terrorist Muslim woman. Ha <laughs> ha! I now have your scarf. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. Can I have it back? No, because I've just solved the terrorism. Ha! <laughs> I'm now on my way to solve corporate control over the state. But that actually matters, so I'm probably gonna do some other daft thing. Number three, throw acid in face of a Muslim. Don't bother approaching them and asking them which views they follow before scarring them for life and then ending up in court weeping like a baby and probably getting a few hours of community service. Maybe actually have a conversation with the people before chucking acid in their face. You're just going out with your brown scanner. You might just have a tan mate. You might just throw acid on the face of a guy with a really strong tan. Number four, beat up a Muslim. Beat up? That sounds like something Biff the Bully would say in the playground when he's got someone upside down and he's emptying them for their dinner money. Number five, torture a Muslim using electrocution. Have you seen the electric bills mate? Nah, out of the question. What's next? Skinning, using of a rack. He's obviously not referring to a shoe rack. I'm gonna have to go to Google on this one mate. Huh? That looks like something from the days of Kevin the Caveman. <laughs> Where are we gonna find that? In Grandma Doris's shed? All right, butcher a Muslim using a gun. How can you butcher someone using a gun? I don't even think that's a thing mate. 
And I love how at the end of the list he's got gun, knife, vehicle and he knows people are too sensible to be using these things and he says or otherwise. Burn or bomb a mosque? Bomb. The irony in this is just too funny mate. Let's have a look at the next one, nuke Mecca. I don't think you actually know but Saudi is a closer ally to the UK and US than most of the European countries mate. In fact the first people to actually stop you is probably going to be your own country and they'll probably nuke you first before Saudi even gets involved or even knows about it. Haven't you seen the billboards in central London? The only nukes you can get in this country is from the British army and somehow mate I don't think they're for sale. On the whole guys this is designed and thought of by a complete idiot. Don't take it seriously but in any case stay safe and go around with a bit of caution on that day and let your family know as well. Anyways guys until next time Asalaamu Alaikum